D, wait for it. Wait for it. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What? One last thing. I'll make it really brief. Uh, you are uh, going to direct a, a DC superhero movie. A DC superhero movie. New no, gods. Not just a, a superhero movie. Yeah. New gods. New gods. New gods. Jack Kirby's New Gods. It is... Mwah, sublime. That's so exciting. And so good. I mean, you like DC? I do like DC. Okay. And it's really, for me, it's a, it's one of those superhero worlds that I feel like people don't know quite as I well know. as the classic. But once they know, yeah. Oh, it's it's well, it's one of the most lush, the best ones. I'm really uh, excited. That it's in your safe hands, and I can't wait to I'm see it. I'm glad. Thanks you so like much it. for being Thank here. Thank you. Ava DuVernay, everybody. What's up, nerds? So, as you can tell from that last clip, Ava DuVernay is doing um, a New Gods movie for the DCEU slash Warner Brothers. And I think that um, she's an interesting choice in the sense that uh, she will do a lot of different stuff for uh, the DCEU and as far as the New Gods go also. So, um, I just want to, I, previously I did a, a, on a casting, a fan casting for, um, Apocalypse, uh, the Planet Apocalypse, and I picked characters that I think that might work well for the DCEU, and I, uh, will do the same for this one, but I'm just going to do New Genesis. So, just to explain the New Gods to you guys, uh, the New Gods are one of the more, uh, one of the most fascinating, imaginative, and entertaining, uh, corners of the DCEU universe. Um, Longtime DC fans uh, speak of the New Gods in somewhat reverent tones and for good reason. Uh, yet the New Gods are also arguably some of the most intimidating and confusing characters to new fans. Now, uh, just to explain this, the New Gods are are a little uh, complicating to explain to people that don't understand comic books. My wife doesn't read comic books, so she doesn't know who the New Gods are. And I'll be honest with you, I am not 100% on the New Genesis New Gods. Now, I am familiar with the Apocalypse just because Darkseid is a, such a big baddie. So I'm just going to get into the the casting, but first thing I want to do is I just want to, in my last video where I did the Apocalypse casting, I cast um, uh, Glori Glorious Godfrey, and I just want to go back and I want to recast that one. Um, I don't want to cast uh, who I cast before, and I, I was watching this clip, I was watching RoboCop from the 2014 reboot one, which I actually like it, if you don't, that's fine. But um, I was watching the very first scene, and I watched um, this scene. Incredible. Incredible. Not long ago, that would have been American men and women risking their lives to pacify these people. Uh, General. You care to comment on this? Well, and I didn't want to play the whole thing, but I just wanted to play. I'm recasting Gloria Scott-Free and Samuel L. Jackson. He is in the MCU, but he is not in the DCEU. And I think that he would be such a... That scene reminds me of uh, Young Justice, how they did G. Godfrey in that one. And I just think Samuel L. Jackson would just do a great job as uh, uh, G. Godfrey slash Gloria Scott-Free. So that's just my recasting for that one. So now let's just get into uh, the casting for the new Genesis crew. And the first one I'm obviously going to recast and they have to put in there is the High Father. Um, High Father is the leader of uh, the new Genesis, uh, Planet of New Genesis, and he just leads everybody in all their different little cultures. But for this one, I have cast Chow Yun Fat, and I just, he's such uh, an iconic Asian actor. And I really, and, and as I said in my last video for the Apocalypse casting, Ava Du Duvernay is going to cast a diverse uh, a diverse cast, and she's not going to just cast white people. And I think that uh, Chow Yun-Fat is would be such a great uh, addition to this and adds to the diversity and um, Asian representation in Hollywood. So I just think that he would do uh, such a great job, and I think that he has such a presence, and he's a little bit older. So for my next casting, I'm going to cast Oren, and I do believe that with this movie, I think a love story would really do great as far as when you have Oren and Becca, and then also when you have, uh, with the Apocalypse, you have Mr. Miracle and uh, um, Big Barda. But for this one, Oren, I have cast Carl Urban. Um, if you've seen that movie... Uh, J uh, Dread, which I believe came out in 2012. He's just such a great job. And the thing about Carl Urban is he's a good looking man, but I don't think that he's one of these actors that has a problem covering up his face. And and, and uh, Dread is the perfect example of that. That movie, he spent 100% of the time with his face covered from here. You can only see his uh, chin 
uh, up to his nose, and I think that a lot of actors are scared of that, and I don't think that he's one of them and everything. So, and, and he, if you watch that movie, he pulls it off well, even though he's got his face covered for the whole time. The next one I want to cast is Avia, Avia? I'm not sure how you say that one, and that is the wife to High Father. And for this one, I have uh, cast Naomi Harris. Now, you may remember Naomi Harris from movies such as uh, 28 Days Later and uh, The Pirates of the Caribbean, um, the second and the third one. She played Tia Dama, and she did such a fantastic job. Oh, she was recently in Rampage, that movie Rampage with uh, uh, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Um, but she did, I think she, for, first off, she's beautiful, and I think she does such a great job. And like I said before, um, diversity is is very important and I think that she will bring uh, that diversity to it because we can't just cast all white people because you know Ava DuVernay will not do that although that would be really funny if she cast all white people she wouldn't do it, but it would just be funny anyways um, so that's who I cast as uh, Avia I hope that's how you say her name so the next one I want to cast is Becca and um, I think that she will play a significant part. And for Becca, I have cast Tatiana Muslani. And she, um, if you know her, she is from the show Orphan Black. And I think that she, she shows that she can do range. I mean, if you watch that show Orphan Black, she doesn't just play one character. She plays herself, but as a bunch of characters. And I think that she would be really great. And she's so beautiful. And I think that she would just be a really great addition. And I'm pretty sure she can rock it out when it comes to fight scenes. The next one I want to cast and character that I picked is Light Ray. And Light Ray in the uh, comic uh, in the comics, he's kind of like a a, a um a firestorm kind of, um, and he shoots out of his hands and everything, these big beams and everything, and I think that he'll be the, the main, like, fighter, as, well, besides Orin, but he'll be the main fighter, and, um, I think that what, uh, the DC television series, uh, TV shows have done is they've shown, they, they, as first firestorm, they had it as a white guy, as a, um, uh, Ronnie, and then it went to, um, a black character, a uh, black character, um, uh, and I think that they did a good job as far as representation and showing that mostly white. And, and, and in the comic books, he does become a black character. But I'm just saying as far as uh, the small screen and big screen, you know, a traditional white character doesn't have to be white. So for this one, I have cast Dev Patel. I think that he is, is a great actor. Well, not a great actor, but he's a pretty good actor. He's a good actor. He did a good job in um, uh, Slumdog Millionaire. And then uh, he didn't do such a great job in... Um, the Last Airbender, but I think that that's more or less to do with the script. But I think that he would do a really good job. The next one I want to cast is Metron. And this is somebody, he's just going to sit in that chair. He can't get out of that chair. I like the chair, though, so I think that he should stay in it. But for this one, I've cast Sean Tome and, or two. I can't remember, and you will remember him as far as he is in the MCU as, uh, uh, oh gosh, he was uh, with an uh, Iron Man, and um, he's a really good actor, and I think that he would do a great job, and he, um, he does small screen and big screen uh, as far as that goes. So for the next one, I have cast, uh, for the next one is Forager. And um, and he's kind of like, a, he is also one of those where his face is covered, but I don't think that his face needs to be covered for this movie. Uh, but I do think, and neither does Oren earlier, but I think that Oren, he's got that iconic helmet and everything, but he doesn't have to wear it. He can take it off when he's not fighting. But anyway, so for Forager, I have cast John Boyega. Now, I really like John Boyega, especially in um, Attack of the the block or the block oh, I can't remember what it's called um and everything but I'll put a picture of him. but he did such a good job there and he's in Star Wars so he's already in a huge uh franchise right there I know a lot of people have had some some issues with Star Wars but one thing that I don't have an issue with and that is John Boyega I think he's a good actor and even if you if you don't like him uh, in Star Wars I still think that he does a good job as far as acting goes the next one I want to do is uh Heyman or Hyman I think that he is Becca's father, and he is also a scientist and creates the mother boxes. And I think that that can also be a subplot in the movie. Um, but for this one, I have cast Mandy Patinkin. Now, I know Mandy Patinkin probably wouldn't consider doing a comic book movie, but as far as, um, I think he would do it as far for Ava DuVernay. I think that she's got such a, a presence about her and in Hollywood that I think that she really would do, would be able to get a, an actor such as Andy Patinkin to do a smaller role like uh, Hyman, Heyman. I don't know how to say it, but Hyman sounds funny to say. Anyways, but I think that he would do uh, a great job and I, I would love to see him in a DCEU movie. 
The next one I want to cast is I, I cast a, uh, another, uh, someone that I think would be another uh, heavy hitter as far as fighting goes, and that is Black Racer. Now, I don't like that name, Black Racer, and but I think that they could do a lot with it. But, um, uh... But I have cast Winston Duke. Now, Winston Duke has made a lot of headlines as far as being in Black Panther. But I think that he would do such a, a great job. And he is a good actor. He's so good. And I'm glad to see that he's getting more work and everything after Black Panther. And I think that this would be... He would be a great addition to the DCEU. And as far as um, uh, representation goes, he would be great in this, in this role. So my last... Um, uh, character and uh, casting is Hyalt. Hyalt? I think that's how you say it. And I have cast, and do not judge me for this this uh, pronunciation, but I know, is Hypor Julius Bjornsson? Bjornsson? I, th I think that's how you say his name, and uh, <laughs> I hope so. And I cast him, and you may have known him because he is the mountain in Game of Thrones, but I look, uh, whenever you look at pictures of Hylt, 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 Anyways, he's this big guy, he's got a big helmet, kind of like a juggernaut and everything, and I just think that his size, and he doesn't have, this is not one of those roles that has to have a lot of speaking lines, but uh, it's, I would assume, a lot of action, because the big heavy hitters in this, the fighters in this, I would say, um, uh, you know, they just need to fight and everything, not necessarily act. And everything. So that is my cast for uh, the New Gods movie, New Genesis. And tell me what you guys think about what I've chosen and who I've chosen for this. Did I pick uh, a good characters to be in the movie as far as the New Genesis goes? Did I pick good actors to be in those? Um, I Did I pick a diverse enough crowd that uh, Ava DuVernay would be proud of it? Tell me what you think about this in the comment section down below. If you like this video, hit that like button. If not, if you could please tell me why you didn't hit that like button and what I can do to improve. Um, if you are not subscribed, I would greatly appreciate if you could. And if you could share this on your social media, I would appreciate that even more. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>